Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. On July 16th, Japan's Nikkei Asia published an article exclaiming, Can China create its own ASML? The article pointed out that China is making a comprehensive breakthrough in lithography technology, and if successful, it will disrupt the global chip equipment market. This panic stems from the Chinese government's 344 billion yuan special investment and the clear goal of 100% domestic production of chip equipment in the 14th five-year plan. From Fudan University's new lithography process to the breakthrough EUV light source at the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics, China is responding to Western technological blockades with action. Nikkei Asia's special report made a rare admission, the speed of China's lithography advancement is beyond imagination. Internal documents obtained by the newspaper show that Huawei's Dongguan factory is testing a domestically produced EUV prototype using laser-induced discharge plasma technology, which is completely different from ASML's laser-generated plasma solution. This innovative technological approach allows China to circumvent Western patent barriers. Further worrying Japan are market signals. In January and February 2025, Japan's semiconductor equipment exports experienced a rare consecutive decline, with declines of 6% and 1.1%, respectively. The Japan Semiconductor Manufacturing Equipment Association admitted that the main reason was the sharp decline in purchases from Chinese companies. Japanese equipment manufacturers, which once held a 30% share of China's lithography equipment market, can now only watch as Chinese companies turn to domestic alternatives. Tokyo Electron executives privately complained, three years ago, Chinese customers begged us to ship, but now we're even receiving fewer calls asking for quotes. This shift stems from the rise of Chinese companies like North Huachuang, which has risen to sixth place among global chip equipment companies, breaking the monopoly in key areas like etching and deposition. In the field of extreme ultraviolet light sources, the core of lithography, a Shanghai team has achieved a major breakthrough. They circumvented the US banned carbon dioxide laser technology and used solid state lasers to excite tin plasma achieving an energy conversion efficiency of 3.42%. While still below ASML's 5.5%, it is already world-leading for solid-state light sources. More importantly, technological innovation is key. Fudan University developed the Wuji chip using a desktop maskless direct write lithography system to fabricate feature structures directly on the wafer. This solution eliminates the traditional lithography machine's reliance on masks, achieving a line width accuracy of 0.4 microns and a processing speed of up to 180 square millimeters per minute. While not currently applicable to advanced processes below 7 nanometers, it is already practical for IoT chips, automotive electronics, and other fields. The third front lies on the process side. The Institute of Microelectronics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has developed a new radiation suppression model to address infrared interference in EUV lithography. This technology precisely controls the thermal load on the collector mirror surface, improving the stability of the lithography system, a key focus of ASML's next-generation lithography tools. The 14th five-year plan defines the localization of chip equipment as a national strategic task, explicitly requiring breakthroughs in core equipment such as lithography machines and etching machines. A special fund of 344 billion yuan has been invested to build a R&D network covering the entire industry chain. The Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics is focusing on light source systems the Changchun Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics is working on optical lenses, Tsinghua University is working on dual worktables, and Huawei is integrating systems. Precise resource allocation reflects national will. Among the tens of thousands of components in EUV lithography machines, China has prioritized breakthroughs in three key bottlenecks, laser light sources, 
optical lenses, and precision control. The rapid progress of Lin Nan's team at the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics stems from the fact that a core member previously served as the head of light source technology at ASML and is deeply familiar with the technical bottlenecks. At the enterprise level, a tiered approach has been formed to tackle key challenges. Huawei is focusing on EUV system integration, North Huachuang is working on etching equipment, an advanced microsemiconductor is making breakthroughs in thin film deposition. This division of labor and collaboration has enabled China to increase the localization rate of chip equipment from less than 20% to 45% in just three years. China's technological breakthroughs have triggered a chain reaction. Earlier this year, ASML lowered its annual revenue forecast from 40 billion euros to 35 billion euros. CEO Steve Fuchs admitted, changes in Chinese market demand have exceeded expectations. A more direct impact has been on market share. China once contributed 36% of ASML's global revenue, but by the end of 2024, that proportion had fallen to 27%. Japanese lithography equipment companies have been hit even harder. Nikon lowered its annual profit forecast by 50%. While Canon has not released specific figures, internal reports indicate a 40% drop in lithography equipment orders. To save the market, Japanese material suppliers, such as Sumitomo Bakelite, have urgently established factories in China, attempting to maintain market share through localized production. The backlash from U.S. sanctions is beginning to show. When the Trump administration banned the export of EUV lithography equipment to China, it unexpectedly forced China to innovate independently across its entire industry chain. Now, China has not only reduced its purchases of imported equipment, but is also catching up with the West in third-generation semiconductors like silicon carbide and gallium nitride. Progress has opened up a new path to circumvent the limitations of silicon-based chips. The confidence of China's chip industry stems from the world's largest application market. In 2024, China's wafer fab equipment spending reached $50 billion, accounting for one-third of global spending. It is precisely this demand that enables companies like Nora to feed back into R&D through the market forming a virtuous cycle of production improvement upgrade. While ASML is obsessed with pushing lithography precision to one nanometer, China is simultaneously developing specialized processes, such as three-dimensional integration and integrated storage and computing. The two-dimensional semiconductor materials used in Fudan University's Wuji chip consume only one-tenth the power of silicon-based chips, offering unique advantages in fields such as the Internet of Things and Aerospace. The more far-reaching impact lies in standard-setting power. The advanced chip packaging technology developed by SMIC and Huawei has been certified by Apple's supply chain, after Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometers lithography machine entered SMIC's production line, its yield rate has surpassed that of TSMC's comparable products. These breakthroughs have transformed China from a technology follower to a rulemaker. When ASML, when President Fu Kelly declared that China won't be able to produce EUV lithography machines within 10 years, he likely didn't carefully read the paper from Fudan University in the journal Nature. It detailed the entire process of manufacturing a 32-bit processor using domestically produced lithography machines. Nor did he notice the sneak shots of the Dongguan factory taken by Japanese media. China's independently developed EUV prototype had entered the final assembly stage. The strategic value of the 344 billion yuan investment is gradually becoming apparent. Light source breakthroughs at the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics, process innovations at Fudan University, and equipment replacements at North Huachuang have woven a network of independent innovation in China's lithography technology. The concerns of Japan's Nikkei Asia are becoming a reality, 
when China's chip equipment self-sufficiency rate exceeds 60%, ASML's monopoly will finally come to an end. A great power must control its own key equipment. This ironclad principle, enshrined in the 14th Five-Year Plan, is guiding China's lithography technology to break through the Western blockade. History will ultimately prove that no technological hegemony can stop a nation's resolve for independent innovation.